about to enter a new dimension of not only factual stories, but of entertainment. This is The Spotlight. We're back! Mm -hmm. I miss us. I'm Bree Chaka. And I'm Nathan Wigley. Let's get to those stories. <laughs> Last week, Nathan, Emily, and I went to go find out about the growing technology use in schools. You may have noticed growth in technology use in schools around here. Some students are even allowed to bring their own devices. We went to find out whether it's beneficial or not to have technology in school. A student who uses an iPad gave us an opinion on how technology affects homework. The iPads are generally um, helpful, but they also slow things down for typing and you have to install different apps. Though it may take longer, iPads have access to apps that can help. I think homework uh, takes a little bit longer on the iPads. But um, they have certain apps that helps it. Some teachers regularly integrate technology into their lessons. A teacher here at Simley even created a website to help students with their work. They uh, had difficulty finishing the assignment, so what I thought I would do is um, just make a website that had all the assignments on there. And Many teachers are now using different types of devices to evaluate students. These uh, Senios, these response systems, which are kind of cool, and I was able to um, kind of take a look at how they did on, you know, kind of question per question. With technology, teachers can have PDFs of their textbooks as well. You know, instead of writing this entire word problem down, you just screen capture it, boom, there it is. Not only did Lissett create a website, he also makes YouTube videos of tutorials for math problems. I have a YouTube channel, and I have a bunch of videos that I made there, and then students can just, you know, choose the concept they want to see. I click on the video, watch it, hit pause, or technology is makes class more fun. It's a little more interactive with like things like these response systems, and um, yeah, I think it just allows teachers to do their job. We hope you learn more about the growth of technology use in schools and how beneficial it can truly be. Super beneficial. This is Matt Bree Chaka. Ooh, that's a good one. And Nathan Wigleitner. And Emily Earhart, reporting for Spartan Spotlight. And now, on to some sad news. Mr. Lund has been teaching with our staff for a long time, but this is his last year. Pam and Kayla went to go find out more. One of Simley's most beloved teachers is retiring this year. He has affected so many students during his teaching career. In 1999, after the Columbine shooting, Mr. Lund chose to be a part of the education field to keep school safer and to create a more positive environment for kids. Mr. Lund has had past experience in industry and in the Army that he contributes to his teaching. He's had a, a wide variety of life experiences just because he's been able to, to work in industry and teach and, and he's been in the Army. He's been a real asset to our department because of his experience in industry. He's been around the world working with uh, valve plants. If you've been in his classroom, you've probably heard some of the stories about the valve plants or the tire factory. And, in France. After 14 years, Mr. Lun will be retiring with his wife, who works at Eastview High School with students who have autism. Being such a big help to Simley Science Department, students also said that they adore his convertible and how amazing of a teacher he is. My favorite thing about Mr. Lund is... My favorite thing about Mr. Lund is... My favorite thing about Mr. Lund, how loving he is onto his students. He's such a cute little man. He's just a caring person. He always dresses really fancy on Fridays. He tells you like the funniest stories. He always makes it fun in the classroom and he's really nice to you and he always helps you with problems. He's got his calculators, one for show, one for go. He's just really adorable. How compassionate he is about um, teaching and the kids that he teaches. Whenever he'd mess up or something, he'd say, oh, poopies. Uh, every day after class, he would say, have a great day, kids. Have a great day, kids. Study hard. Study hard. Study, Study hard. hard. Smile a lot. Smile a lot. Smile a lot. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. Wash your hands frequently. Wash your hands frequently. Wash your hands frequently. Wash your hands frequently. Be proud, Simley. Be proud, Simley. Be proud, Simley. Be proud, Simley. Thank you, Mr. Lund, for being an incredible teacher and something great we can associate to Simley High School. Never forget, study hard, smile a lot, don't smoke, and wash your hands frequently. Be proud, Simley. This has been Pa Yang reporting for the Spartan Spotlight. Thanks, Pa and Kayla, and a special thank you to Mr. Lund. We're really going to miss you here. We hope all your future endeavors are successful. And now we're going to take a break from Spartan Spotlight to hear from Ms. Nye about Charity Week. <laughs>
We hope you really enjoyed this episode, guys. Don't forget to check us out on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook. I'm Rachel. And I'm Nathan Wengleitner. You'll see us next week.